that's not... Thank you, Madam President. There is a Lithuanian proverb that says, all that glitters is not gold and all that is sticky is not tar. The Lithuanian people have taken heed of their proverb with 55% under a recent Eurobarometer, uh, uh, Eurobarometer poll stating that their country should not join the Euro. But in the time-honoured EU tradition of ignoring the will of the people, the Lithuanians were not offered the referendum, instead the government decided to join on its own. And furthermore, under yesterday's Econ Committee, Mr Draghi stated that the ECB were aware that the Lithuanian economy has extreme variabilities. However, he said it's important to note that they had complied with all the ECB conditions on joining. Well, haven't we heard that before? Those assurances were given for Greece, Spain and Portugal. And now it is plain for all to see what the damage of the euro has done to these great countries. What a terrible legacy has been left for the millions of unemployed people across those countries. We should support those Lithuanians who want a referendum and who oppose joining the euro. For they know this, that those who champion the euro, it glitters. But for millions of ordinary people in Europe, the euro is certainly not golden. Mrs. James. Thank, you. Seconds. Thank, you, thank you, Madam President. I've sat here for probably 20 minutes now, and I've heard a number of speakers. The point I think I would like to make is, despite the reassurance of the last speaker, I sense a car crash waiting to happen. And one of the speakers only a few minutes ago highlighted that you, can, you will need good drivers, but equally you have to have your passengers on board. And if in the last few minutes we've heard that the passengers in Lithuania actually weren't on board, it's very, very interesting that they still wish to pursue what they've set out. Thank you, Madam 